What's up guys, Axe the Good Time Gaming. It is day four of the search for Kento. We have still not found Kento. He's still out there somewhere. Perhaps he's hiding behind a dumpster. Maybe at a strip club. Or he could be dead. Who knows? But the more important thing, on day four, we have got a new game mode. And it's actually pretty interesting. Um, I've been playing it a little bit here today. I'm just trying to get a little bit of footage for it, kind of a feel for it. Um, so this is called Crime Spree. And basically what Crime Spree is, is it's kind of like a combination between the mutator systems already in the game and just randomized heists. So once you reach level 60, you can go what's on called a crime spree. So you guys notice that assuming you're level 60 at least, you will see a little uh, screen at the bottom here, like a little clickable that says crime spree. So you go into that and based on the number of uh, continental coins that you choose to pay to start out with, you get to start at that level in the crime spree. So the higher you go, the more rewards you get, the better they are. Um, you can cash out at earlier tier, as you guys can see here in this footage, I can cash out potentially if I want to, but that'll reset my crime spree back down to zero and I have to start all over again. So I'm gonna keep this one going for a while now. I just wanna kind of show you guys that and demonstrate it. At various intervals, you will get new mutators, which will make it so that enemies will have either a less pagers available, or if you kill so many civilians, then an alarm automatically sounds, or cloakers will drop smoke bombs whenever they kick you. Uh, cops will do more damage to you. There's a whole host of different modifiers. Um, it adds a nice new uh, level of gameplay to the game. Um, obviously, you can really kind of test yourself. Early on, it's pretty easy. Um, I have not really had any major challenge up to this point just playing this by myself with bots. Um, it's been overwhelmingly easy. You can reset after each one, like, and go back to the main lobby. So if you need to, say, get gear together for a stealth heist, you can just you know, go back to the main lobby, get all your stuff together, optimize your build, and then go on to the next level with that. The rewards, I think, are kind of unfortunately a bit mediocre. Um, for high level players, one thing you're really gonna get out of this that you might actually want or benefit from might be the card drop if you're wanting certain, um, certain patterns or certain masks uh, duplicated. Um, you may be able to get a safe at one point, um, but really you're only getting like XP, cash, and um, you know a few card drops. Nothing that uh, great. There are some um, unique rewards, so once you get to certain um, ranks on here, then you will get a unique reward, which is something a little bit better. I'm going to guess it's probably a safe skin perhaps, or something to that extent, which makes it a good time to kind of uh, jump into that. So there are now skins for your various armor. Um, pickups that you have. So you guys can kind of see here uh, modeling some of the skins on the armors. In general it looks better on the ICTV because there's just more armor for it to kind of spread out to so you can get kind of a better idea for it. The LBV looks pretty mediocre and of course the um, the suit has no um, you know skin on it at all because there's no armor to the suit. I do think it'd be kind of cool to make it so that at the suit level they can have different ties and it'd be kind of cool. Because really, like each heister has like kind of their own colored suit. That's really like a signature thing to them. But they could, you know, potentially do something maybe with the tie, to where it still kind of preserves the overall look of the heister and their uniqueness in that regard. But gives you some little quirky tie of some sort. So it's kind of a thought there. Outside of that, there is a few new uh, screen filters for the game to kind of make the colors look a little bit different. But nothing else that's any, you know, major thing or any really that great. Um, I was expecting something a little bit different when it came to like visuals than just like, you know, a simple uh, screen filter because a lot of HUDs can already do that. There's nothing really special there. But the big thing here is obviously the armor safe and of course Crime Spree. So I'm going to be playing some Crime Spree, probably do some streaming of that this weekend, kind of uh, showcase some of that. But overall, pretty cool update. I'm excited for Crime Spree. Um, kind of gives you a new reason to play the game and a new little something to strive for and go for. So let me know what you guys have thought so far of Spring Break and if you have tried Crime Spree. I think I'm up to about like level 40, uh, like Crime Spree 40, and it's still pretty easy. So if you've gotten higher than that, let me know. I'm kind of curious. And if you are on console, then I apologize that you have shitty Payday 2 to play and you can't play any of this stuff. But maybe one day, right? Right? Pro probably not. Let's not kid ourselves. But I will see you guys in the next video. This is Axiom of Good Time Gaming. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share if you like anything you saw today. And remember to always have a good time gaming.